They say you are what you eat. The Netflix documentary Hack Your Health. The Secrets of Your Gut provides an engaging look at how the gut microbiome affects everything from brain health to immune system function. The film explores the profound impact of gut health on brain function, mental health, and overall well-being. It claims that making lifestyle changes and medical choices that benefit your gut microbiome can not only be very empowering, but life-changing. Keep watching for the top lessons from the film. The gut is fundamental to our health. Have you heard the saying, trust your gut? Our gut affects our whole body, even our brain. The gut is called the second brain in part because it produces many of the same neurotransmitters as the brain does, including serotonin and dopamine, which both play a key role in regulating mood. Interesting fact, about 95% of serotonin, the chemical messenger that impacts mood, sleep, digestion, and sexual desire, is made by gut bacteria. Gut bacteria play a key role in immune function. The body cannot digest food on its own. We need microbes to digest properly. The tiniest virus works with small bacteria, which works with much larger yeast, which works with a whole human body. And this is what we call the microbiome. Most of these organisms are found in the small and large intestines, but they are also found throughout the body. Although most people think of bacteria as harmful, 99% don't affect our health at all, and some can even help us. Approximately 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. Bacteria train the immune system to respond to organisms that might have a negative impact on health and help humans produce disease-fighting chemicals that we cannot make on our own. The gut microbiome plays a key role in managing weight. According to the documentary, microbes occupy most of our bodies. 70 to 90% of all cells in the human body are bacterial, and 99% of the unique genes in our bodies are bacterial. The bacteria communicate with our brains and other organs and even shape our hormones that can make us feel hungry or full. Most of us believe that our genes determine our health, but now we know that the microbiome may be very central to developing obesity, depression, or allergies, and it can even affect stress levels. Everyone has a unique collection of microbial memories. Each person's microbiome is shaped by their individual choices and life experiences. The places you travel, the food you eat, whether you have pets, how much you exercise, your stress level, what your childhood was like, whether you experienced adversity or not. All of these factors and much more play a role in what they call a collection of microbial memories, and each person's is unique. No microbiome is exactly the same. Each person's microbiome can have a different response to the same food. Due to the fact that the microbiome plays a key role in digestion and none are the same, two people can eat the exact same food and have very different responses. The documentary illustrates this by sharing the stories of different people with unique food issues and how each person will digest the food in a different way, including the kinds of nutrients and amount of calories they extract. Ultimately, an individual's response to a meal, such as how much it elevates their blood sugar level, is connected to weight loss and gain, and that is influenced by the microbiome. The documentary claims that this may explain why one person has obesity and the other person does not, even if they follow the same eating pattern. Let's talk about poop. In the documentary, four test subjects participate in a gut study that collects fecal samples to examine the types and levels of gut bacteria present. The aim is to open up communication about gut health, poop, and gut-associated issues in order for people to share stories and explore different ways to restore overall health. Building a healthy gut doesn't mean counting calories or avoiding bad foods. Eating more whole foods and fewer highly processed ones is associated with a healthier and more diverse microbiome. But having a healthy relationship with food and eating a balanced diet is the goal, not deprivation. Dr. Annie Gupta says that a diet rich in fruits and vegetables is generally considered ideal for the gut. She recommends tracking the number of fruit and vegetable servings you consume every week between 20 and 30 is usually considered good. Key takeaways. The gut microbiome is considered a second brain because it produces many of the same neurotransmitters that the brain does. Good lifestyle and medical choices can promote gut microbiome health. Each person's gut microbiome reflects their own experiences and choices and is thus unique. What do you think about gut health? Comment below and subscribe to the channel for more interesting health topics.